Hey everyone, it's Scott at Sound Attack, the famous drum store in the UK, and yeah, we're talking about silencing a drum kit or reducing the noise of an acoustic drum kit. Playing a real kit, obviously, is, is something that we are all fans of, but you need to reduce the noise, in, especially in home situations. So what we can do is we can do a couple of things. There's the QT silencer pad that is just rubber pads that go onto the drum, silence about 80%. It does a five piece kit, does your bass drum, snare, toms, hi-hats, crush and a ride. At the shop, we can do multiple things. We can maybe go in with low volume cymbals. They are like the best option for playing at home because they feel more realistic. So you can put them on the kit, you can put mesh heads on the kit as well, which is, so mesh heads with the low volume cymbals is like the elite way of silencing the kit. Or you can mix the both. You could do QT pads with the low volume cymbals. Loads of options. I mean, the best way to do that is give us a call at the shop or come in and we can go through that. Especially if you're buying an acoustic kit, we can work the packages that suits you however you want it. So. That's the beauty of it. This is the acoustic kit as, as you get it. I'm just gonna play a little bit just so you can hear the volume of it. So here we've got the QT Sciences set, uh, the standard set that comes as a five piece kit with the cymbal pads as well. So you get one in between your hi-hats, you get the top section for your hi-hat, you get one for your crash and one for your ride. Three toms, snare and bass drum. There's size options as well for 18 inch kits, 20 fusions, 22 fusions, 22 rock and 22 American fusion. So this is one option that is very popular when people are buying acoustic kits so you can play it in the house without creating havoc with your neighbors. So, okay, so the other option we can do, which is uh, sticking with the QT silencer pads, but what we've now done is we've kind of pimped it up with the low volume cymbals. Now these are the hushed ones that we do because they're the best value. The good thing with these is you've got loads of add-ons, you've got splashes, you've got chinas, you've got extra crashes. The standard set that as it comes is the 14 inch hat, 16 inch crash, 20 inch ride as a pre-packed set. There is obviously your 10 inch splash, you've got 14 inch china and 18 inch china and 18 inch crashes as well. So immediately the kit feels so much better to play because you've got the silencer pads on here, which you know, obviously keeps the, the noise down on the drums. But we haven't got to hit certain sections of the cymbal, you know, on the pads, which were on the other, on the other section of the video. These are just quiet cymbals. So yeah, this is a great option because you got the real symbol, the feel of the real symbols, just a lower volume. For home playing, that will cut all the frequencies going through walls and you know, it just uh, keeps, keeps everyone happy in the house. So good option with the pads and that. The next option would be, as I mentioned before, doing the mesh heads on the drums and then the cymbals. So here we go, here's the Science Stroke head. I mean, this is our branded one for the store, but yeah, you just have the normal Remo uh, logo at the top, so you don't have all this on the, on the heads. But yeah, it's great. So you can put them on all the drums. They do bass drum, tom, snare, everything. They don't do a separate snare batter as opposed to a tom, it's just a 14 inch Science Stroke head. So that will work on snare and, and tom. But you still get the wire sound coming through. You can, again, take the wires off if you wish, but. So yeah, it, it does feel, again, more realistic. So the dream science kit would be, you know, 
mesh heads, low volume cymbals, all over the kit. That's like the best, but there's certain ways you can do it. Like, yeah, as I say, QT pads and silence is like low volume cymbals or just QT pads is just your, your basic option. So they're the three kind of key best things that we could suggest to keep the noise down on the kit. So that's basically our little tips for keeping the noise down on your, on your drum kit over, over the holidays. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, comment below if, you, if there's any questions regarding anything to do with the drums or sciencing or any problems you got, just uh, give us a call, drop us an email or comment below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Remember to subscribe, share it out to all your drummer friends and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll all see you soon. Take care.